Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Painted Polish I Love Lilac Collection. There are seven polishes here all together and then also two additional add-on glitters. What's seven plus two? That makes nine. So nine polishes all together. These are available right now, so I will link the Painted Polish website down below and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Stamped in Lilac and this is just described as a one coat lilac cream. I have also become immediately self-conscious of how I say lilac. So as promised, this covers perfectly in one coat, levels itself out really well, really smooth application, a just very good solid one coat polish. I'm doing one coat here because it's advertised as a one coat polish and it works as a one coat polish, but going out I might do two just to add some bulk, but that's not necessary for coverage. So that is one coat of Stamped in Lilac. The next polish is called I Lilac You A Lot, and this is described as a lilac crelly with pink, orange, and gold color shifting iridescent flakies and micro holographic flakies. This was a little bit sheer on the first coat, but not bad, it is a crelly. It built up fine and covered completely for me in two coats. You won't have any texture from these flakies because they are very light flakies, so they do dry flat and you won't have any difficult with removing them. And the same goes for the holographic that's in the base. It's not a glitter, it's a holographic pigment, so it's gonna be smooth and it's not going to be difficult to remove. So that is two coats of I Lilac You A Lot. The next polish is called Lucky Lilac, and this is described as a champagne holographic micro glitter mix in a lilac curly base. So this is in a jelly slash curly base, so it is a little bit sheer on the first coat, but again, not terrible. This is absolutely packed with glitter, which also helps add some coverage. This covered completely for me in two coats, but I did do a slightly thicker second coat to get that full coverage in two. And this is a micro glitter in that base, so it is going to dry a bit textured. You can kind of see it here, and it is going to be more difficult to remove. It's just micro glitter, so it's not going to be as terrible as a larger, chunkier glitter, but you're definitely going to feel some resistance. So that is two coats of Lucky Lilac. The next polish is called Once in Floral, and this is described as a turquoise metallic flaky in a cool toned pale lilac curly base. Again, a little bit sheer on the first coat. It's a curly base, that's how they work. This covers really well without covering up those flakies at all, which is nice. This covered completely for me in two coats. You will get a little bit of texture out of those flakies. They're not gonna be as bad as a glitter and they're sparse enough that it's not going to make the polish too difficult to take off of your nails, but you'll notice that they stick up a little bit after everything is dried down. And I really, really like the color combination here. So that is two coats of Once in Floral. The next polish is called Lost in Lilac, and this is described as crushed gold flakies in a medium lilac curly base. So this is another curly base that is just squishy enough to show those flakies really well while also giving you good coverage on your nail. Good formula on this one. It applies very evenly, builds up totally fine in two coats. This also has a little bit of texture from those flakies, but not much. It's gonna be few and far between because they do lay relatively flat. And like you might get one or two stuck to your nail, but it's not gonna be like a glitter at all. And you guys know how I feel about little teeny tiny gold flakies. So that is two coats of Lost in Lilac. The next polish is called Flower Power, and this is described as sea green, emerald, and moss green metallic glitters in a lilac curly base. I'm repeating myself a lot here, but this is a good formula. Tons of glitter in here. Covers the nails super well, but the glitter still stands out also. This covered completely for me in two coats, and it is glitter, so it's going to behave like a glitter. You're going to get some texture from that micro glitter, and it is going to be more difficult to remove, especially with the volume of glitter that's in here. So that is two coats of Flower Power. The next polish is called Blossom Buddies, and this is described as fuchsia, aqua, lilac, and lavender metallic glitters in a lilac curly base. So this is essentially the same formula as Flower Power. Obviously, the base is a little warmer and the glitter is a different shades, but for the most part, it's the same. The formula is good. It covers very evenly, very well. The glitter still stands out nicely. It covered completely for me in two coats, and again, it is a lot of micro glitter, so there will be some texture when it's dried completely down, and it will be more difficult to remove. So that is two coats of Blossom Buddies. So the next two polishes are add-ons that launched along with the Lilac collection, but are not sold along with the full set. You have to get them individually. 
So this first one is called Best Buds Forever, and this is fuchsia, lilac, and lavender metallic glitters and turquoise holographic glitter in a clear base. So this has a lot of glitter in it, but it's not thick at all. It applies it very evenly. It is going to be more difficult to remove, and there is going to be texture because it is a glitter. I had some gaps when I did three coats alone. They weren't bad. I don't think it was anything that anyone else would notice, but you can sponge the glitter on if you don't like those. That way you can get full coverage with the glitter without it getting thick from multiple layers. So that is one coat of Best Buds Forever. And the last polish is called Lilac Fields Forever, and this is sea green, emerald, moss green, lilac, and lavender metallic glitters in a clear base. Again, I'm showing this as a topper, but you can wear it in three coats on its own with the same results as the last glitter topper, so I would suggest sponging it if you don't want to see those little gaps. From far away, you're really not going to notice, but if it bothers you, it would bother me, use a sponge. And performance-wise, this was consistent with the last glitter topper. So that is one coat of Lilac Fields Forever. So Lost in Lilac is definitely going to be my favorite because I can't help myself. I just love little tiny flakies and I'm sure you guys are so sick of hearing me talk about little tiny flakies, but I love them so much. And this, these gold flakies in here are nice and light and small and delicate and they also contrast really well with the base. Just really, really like this color. So that is the I Love Lilac collection from Painted Polish. Again, those are available right now, so I will link the website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.